Inter-European fellowship is designed to aid researchers to move from one European nation to the other. I applied for the fellowship because it's very heavily focused on career development. Nowadays, as a researcher, you cannot rely on, on working on other people's projects. You need to design your own and be able to progress those. And this is what this fellowship is about. I have an undergraduate degree in biochemistry and biophysics from Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in New York City. Um, I have a master's degree from the University of California, Santa Cruz in marine sciences, and my PhD is in marine microbiology from Jacobs University in Bremen and the Max Planck Institute for Marine Microbiology. I came to the Center for Astrobiology because it has a very long tradition in um, working in extreme environments in the high Arctic, in the Antarctic, as well as Rio Tinto. These environments are very interesting to me because they're environments where we don't think life should survive. But what we often find when we look in these environments is that life is not only surviving, but thriving. The focus of my research is to study or investigate microbes that cycle sulfur in the Iberian Predict Belt. Um, this is interesting to us because these microbes form minerals and dissolve minerals that we believe exist um, on other planets such as Mars. And we try and study environments um, such as the Iberian Predict Belt to gain some insight in how some of these minerals can form in Mars. I think the, the most interesting uh, properties of a Marie Curie Fellow is just that it's a person that has very well educated in his field and also it went through a very strict selection which guarantees quality. Well, today's seminar will be in Ovas. Having the Marie Curie Fellowship, it really forces you in the very beginning, before you even get it, while you're writing your proposal, think of an independent idea, something that's new in science, something that, um, something that brings everyone forward. You know, you something that you're going to have to learn from and you're going to have to teach others while you're doing it. Because um, I'm here in Madrid, Spain. It's one of the most beautiful cities I've ever been in. I have to live and work in Spanish. I need to go to the grocery store in Spanish. I have to interact with a lot of my friends in Spanish. And being outside that comfort zone when I'm not speaking English, I think is one of the best things I've had in a very long time. My personal opinion is just that independence in science is a very important subject. You know, in many groups, uh, there is a, a very strict control, you know, of, uh, of the kind of project they do. In our case, we can afford to give independence to our researchers, which I think produces better science. I'm actually responsible for progressing this project, I'm responsible for the budget of the project as well, too. As a Marie Curie Fellow, everything is, is my responsibility. And that is um, the independence I think you need to do, have to be a successful researcher.